Hello. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about um, remembering the names for base cloth. Um, so um, I drew my base cloth. Um, so if you notice the two dots, um, go always, always um, surround this line. Um, and I'll explain to you what um, letter that line is in a second, but for right now, um, whenever you see base cloth, it'll surround this second top line. Um, okay, so unlike treble clef, well not unlike treble clef, um, there's always, like treble clef, there's always ways to remember um, the names of uh, the notes for treble clef and bass clef. So for bass clef, it's a little bit different. Um, the things that are the same, that there are four spaces and five lines, always. Um, but um, the spaces don't create a word. So the names of the notes in the spaces don't create one word. Um, so we have two, or we have a way to remember what, um, ha, um, we have a way, a mnemonic device to remember the names. I'm making a lot of sense today. Um, so for the spaces, um, the device we use, or the, the mnemonic device we used is um, all cows eat grass. So this bottom one will be all cows eat grass. So this is how we remember this, the names of the spaces in base clef. Um, so A, C, E, G. That's for base clef. The lines also has another mnemonic device. It's similar to the one for treble clef. It's just rearranged slightly different. So the bottom line um, would be uh, good boys deserve fudge always. So it's similar to the one in treble clef. Um, the only difference is some words were moved around. Or, yeah, a little bit different. Anyway, <laughs> um, so this is how we remember treble clef. Um, so treble, or sorry, bass clef. Wow. So bass clef um, is also known as the F clef because the way that it's written, these two dots surround F, the uh, line F. Um, treble clef is known as the G clef because the little swirl surrounds um, uh, the G line. So yeah, that is how we remember bass clef. Um, it's pretty simple. The only thing is that um, because there's two mnemonic devices to remember it, and Treble Clef only has one. Yeah. So I hope this video helps. It's a pretty easy way to remember the names and the notes, but yeah.